So here we want to create a preview for our image, a larger preview area here. And one more thing we should do before that is to, we only actually added a provision to show images on one side, but not on the other. So let's do that on the other side as well. And I will go to api.php and I'm just going to copy where this image is right here. I'm going to yeah copy that and go to images left and simply paste it here. Okay. Let me come back here. All right. So as you can see, there's uh, some extra space here being created because we are adding this tag even where there are no messages. So to avoid that, let's put an if statement here. So I'm going to go out of this uh, thing here and then uh, go back here. So there's return here. So we cannot break from the return. Once we break from this, only this section will be returned here. So instead of doing this, what we will do is we're going to create a variable called a, you can uh, name it as required. And then here I'm going to just say add to a, I'll say dot equals. So I'm adding to whatever a is. And then at the very end, I'm just going to return a like that. So nothing is broken here. Let me save. It's just like before, only that now we have space here to add some uh, if statements. So I can say if, I will say if file exists, okay? What I could say is this, let me just check if data files is not empty, that's number one. If data files uh, is not equal to empty and file exists, the same one right here. If the file exists, then let's add to A. So I will put the brackets over there. And then at the end here, I will put that like so. All right, then that solves the problem. So then again, we'll copy this part and put it here so we can continue to add to the A right there. So let me come back here and see if this will disappear here. Okay. So the gap has disappeared. So let's do the same for the other side as well. So I'm just going to uh, copy from here to there. Copy that. Come down here and replace from here to there. Paste like so. A is equal to that. Return A. Okay, great. Let's go up here. Ooh. Message left. Ooh. So why is it that there's a... Uh... Okay, I think that's about... Okay, looks the same. So let's come back here and uh, that's actually true. The large gap is gone. So we are good to go now. So now let's go, let's dive into creating the preview. So to do that, we're going to create a um, a large div that can be uh, that will be visible on top of everything, and then we're just going to set the image source of that to whatever the image source of this is. So let me go to my index.php page, and I will go to the header where my chat is, and that's it right there. Alrighty then. So I want to put the div uh, right here, I think. Yeah, that should do. It won't really matter because most of the time it won't be visible at all. So I just want to put it in here and say ID uh, image underscore viewer like that. And that's all we need to do. Image viewer. Okay, so let's come back here and do that. So what I want to do is just like these styles here, I will 
duplicate those. I want to create one class that switches it on and the other that switches it off. So this one will just be like that. And I just want to change loader to image. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. Image on, image off. And this is off. And width here is, uh, let's see, maybe 50%. I think and let's position it now let's just say uh, hmm. okay let me come back here image on so I guess I didn't need to give it an ID after all oh I do need the ID so I can uh, reference it so there we go so image viewer and in here, I will put a class name. I will say image on so that we can actually see it. So let me refresh the page. We're supposed to see it right away. So the fact that we don't means I need to add some more uh, styles. So I will say height. I want a height of 300 pixels. Same thing with the width, 300 pixels. And I want a, a background color of black, just so we can see it. And uh, margin auto. I don't know if margin auto will work, considering the position is absolute. But let's refresh and see what we've got. Okay, so there we go. Now, sometimes it's showing up. Uh, behind certain things so we just have to put a Z index of let's say 10 just to make sure it's always on top the normal Z index for all these for any item is is it zero I think it's zero or one if I'm not mistaken so now as you can see uh, these images don't go over it it's always the one on top so then we can position it absolutely by uh, giving it a left and right uh, let me let me put the top here let me tell it to be 50 pixels from the top let's try 50 pixels from the left as well so you can position it anywhere you want using those values right there and then let me increase the values here i want to try 400 by 400 just so it's big enough there we go so this will be our image viewer and of course we will need to uh, create a way to make it disappear and that could be easy just by clicking on it so here i will go down to the click here to the to add a click event on it so just after the class here, I'm just going to say on click, uh, close image. That's what we will call. Let's put event there, event. Let me remove the word wrap. Mm -hmm. So on click, we will close the image. So let's just create that function real quick. Let me go down here. Ooh, right there so i will say function image close event so for simpler typing let's just leave an e there so i'm going to say e dot target which is the thing we just clicked dot uh, class name i want to add a class name here and i'm going to call the class name uh, image underscore close okay so right away we can try to use that and just click on it and it disappears but then it's it starts by being on so we can easily do change that by just going to it and changing the beginning class name so it's image on let's put it on image off so it will start off and then come on and then we need a way to re reference it. So that's the ID image viewer right there. So let's go to API.php right here, where the message is 
uh, right there. So let's message left. So I'm just going to put an on click listener here as well and put a um, function image. I don't know, you can say open or show image show event. There we go. So I will copy this to the other side as well. There we go. Show image. Great. So since we've put it on the image itself, this image has a source which contains the file name, right? So all we need is to go to the to create this function, first of all, in index.php. So down to the bottom we go. Uh, there we go. So I will simply duplicate in image show like that E. Okay. So whatever was clicked, uh, we're going to say the image is equal to e dot target dot dot source like that. That's our image. And then now we need to create a um, we need to get the image viewer is equal to get element by ID image viewer. So I'll just copy that image viewer right there and paste. So now we have our image viewer. Now we need to give it something to put in there. So I'm just going to say image viewer dot inner HTML is equal to. So let's craft a an image here. And then we're going to give it a source src equals and then let's put one uh, comma there and then we're going to step out of this. Let's put two pluses like so. And then uh, let's put a style. And then let's close this baby right there. Okay, so the style will have a width of 100% so that it doesn't go beyond that. So you can put whatever styles you want there. Or alternatively, you can give it an ID and then put the styles in the, uh, at the top there. So at the plus here, this is where we need to put our image. So the image is here. And let's put that image over there. Like so. And once we set that, then we can uh, we can make it uh, visible now. So I'm going to say inner dot class name is equal to image. I can't tell if it's was it image show or image open. Was it? Okay, image show. There we go. Mm, I think uh, th this ought to do it. Okay, so let's come back here and give it a test run. Ready? Go. There we go. So, and if I click on it, it should disappear. But it ain't disappearing. So what's going on? First of all, the, uh, the Z index is all wrong. This should be at the very top. Okay, so let's see what is going on. So this is working. Everything here is working because we have received the message and style with 100%. Hmm. The only issue is uh, it's going over that 100%. So let me try if I put 10%, what happens? Just to see if that has any influence on it. Yeah, so it, it actually does. So 100% is the width. Let's go back to the image viewer and see what the styles are. So dot show is right here. Oh, this is the function. We want image on. Find it. Oh, let me go forward again one more time. Okay, there we go. 
so when we have image on this is the position absolute with 50 percent okay so let me remove that it doesn't make sense since we have width 400 pixels background color margin auto z index let me try 100 z index there just to be sure so image on so it's actually image on not image show i think this is where the problem was coming from so i'll leave the z index at 10 there it should be large enough so it's image on let's come down here and set the right uh yeah so we had set the the wrong class name so let me refresh again come back here click there and there we go so we can see the preview there when i click on it it ought to disappear but it ain't disappearing so we can easily fix that issue by let me come back here actually let me give it uh, some larger uh, dimensions here Oop, so many so many styles let's try 450 450 all right and now i will go down here and look at the on click on click close image event so let me find so it's only two places there that's great so is it really image close let's go find the class name ah so that's another problem again so it's not image close it's supposed to be image off that's the class close image that's the class name we should be giving it to yeah it's actually image off okay so that was the issue everything should be working now boom there we go boom there we go boom there we go so what we could do to avoid this black thing here is just uh, remove the background color on the style which is there And then you won't have to see that kind of thing so it'll be like that or like this or like that and so on or like this okay so these are the basics so when i click on it it uh, disappears exactly so what you could do also is add a um, let me go to api here where the image is and the style is 100 percent you can add a uh, cursor of pointer that way people will know that they can actually click on that like this copy where be the other image it's at uh, at the top there so paste semicolon there great so now the mouse clearly shows that you can click on this boom there we go Bam. all right so so far so good i will see you in the next video when we do uh something else